I wrote uh, this book, American Gospel, which I define as the great good news about America is that religion has shaped us without strangling us, that we have created a space for religious belief that influences our public life without trending into a theocracy or a, tyr a tyrannical setting in which belief becomes a weapon. This is a slightly counterintuitive point these days. I think most Americans tend to think that if you sort of grab them on the street and you say, hey, is there a lot of religious strife in the country? They would say yes, both because of what you see on television and the bestseller lists, you know, which uh, you know, three or four years ago it was Rush Limbaugh, you're an idiot, was number one. No, I'm not, you are, was number two. <laughs> hey, what about me? I'm not a fool either, was number three. You know, and so you could read the thing as a, as a paragraph. Uh, <laughs> we've moved beyond that now. Now we're, we, there we are in a moment where books about atheism are doing very well. They're finding a receptive market. And I think that should tell believers something. That should say that there is something dissonant about how believers in particular are conducting themselves in the public square. Lincoln was running against uh, a Methodist evangelist and went to see him preach and was sitting in the pew there and the great moment, the, the decision moment comes and the minister says, everyone who wants to go to heaven, stand up. And everyone stood up except Lincoln. And he said, Mr. Lincoln, where do you think you're going? He said, well, I'm going to Congress. Um, <laughs> I don't see any other way for the American experiment to work if we don't do that, if we don't not just, as I said, tolerate each other, but respect each other. Because we have seen, we are living with, I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old in Manhattan at this hour whose lives are potentially in danger because of the effects of the fatal intersection of political resentment and religious extremism. We spent the 20th century fighting totalitarianism. We have spent the first seven years of the 21st century fighting religious and political resentments around the world. And that is a fight that is, whose end is nowhere in sight. Seeing that, understanding that, I think puts a particular burden on us to tell our story, to tell the American story of how we managed to balance fervent religious belief with a respect for the fundamental rights of people to believe or not believe.